little gifts here. I'm going to set it down because I actually have someone who wants to talk with your okay. dog. Her name is Naomi McDonald. Naomi, come in here. Hi. Hi. Have nice to seat. meet you. Great to see you, Pat. Good to see you. Now, Naomi actually speaks to dogs. I've had her on my speak radio show. I've had her on my television show. And she is the real thing. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. So explain to me exactly what it is you do. Well, I s speak to them spirit to spirit mm -hmm. or mind to mind. Uh -huh. And so I can delve in and ask questions with my mind and I get answers back. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's excellent. So you have been, have you been observing this guy? Can we, t if we think he'll turn around maybe here and, and we'll give him a little, maybe if come I here, turn sweetheart. With him. Yeah, yeah. Come here, sweetheart. Come on, He's Stop. okay. That's a good boy. Yeah, there you he's go. He's okay. Okay, yeah. great. Very attached to you. Oh, yes. Is there anything specific you'd like to know? Is there anything you've been working on that you'd like to know about Chalk? Well, Health-wise, <laughs> do you know any of that? Well, I have to be careful with health-wise because I'm not a veterinarian. Okay, okay. And so in Has he had any issues in at all? situations no, like that? No, just a shaking. He's been shaking, a little shake, since he was a baby. Yeah. And his dog veterinarian just says it's because he's nervous. Yeah, I'm sure that he is. I'm sure that he is. What are you feeling with him, Naomi? Well, what I'd like to do is kind of make a little theme for today, and that would be that a lot of times we don't realize that our animals choose us. We think that things come happenstance, and this is a puppy that I have chosen. But in reality, what I come to understand is that the animals do choose us, mm -hmm. and they always come with a purpose. There's something that they want to accomplish with their human. So what I'd like to do is ask him what it is that he brings for you. Okay. Because the animals so beautifully bring, they bring richness to our lives, they bring love to our lives, they allow us to love a lot of times in ways that we don't, we can't open up to a human. And so let me ask him and see if, you know, what his purpose might be for you. Okay. How about that? How about that? Okay. You can see that he's, you know, he's, he's comfortable here in the sense that he's with you, mm -hmm. but he's very bonded right there. Your caring for him is bringing out a part of your personality that's making you feel more of a purpose, okay? You're stepping out into the world in a way that you had a hard time doing before you had him. Oh, okay. Okay? In that sense, as a matter of fact, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Yes. Okay, so he's bringing a part of your personality to the surface as a caregiver, but also when you take him out, when you do things with him, when you go to the vet, you have the ability to speak for someone else, and that's bringing that out for you. Okay. Okay? And, and I see this. I worked at a, um, at Paws Around Town doing animal sessions and one day this a big burly man came in with tattoos and he was redheaded and on his arm was a Maltese, a, t a tiny, tiny little Maltese. And I, you know, I just kind of smiled when they came this in. This seems went, an odd combination. <laughs> <laughs> this is an odd combination. And he sat down and, and, and she looked at me and she said, I let my dad's soft hang out. How neat. How and neat. I, and so I said that to him, and he was clueless. He said, well, what does that mean? And I said, you've opened up to this dog in a way that you've never opened up before. And he says, I'm even nicer to my wife. <laughs> and because of the dog. Because of the dog. And so he, he didn't go choose this dog. This dog chose him. There was a purpose. There was a purpose. There's always a purpose in our animals. And, so and, and, you know, and, and I have noticed that too. We talk about happenstance or coincidence, something like that. For this person to give you that puppy, was it the right puppy? The puppy knew. 
Always. Had, had that puppy not, he might have given you some problems. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which a lot of dogs who are not happy with where they are, you know, the diggers, the fence jumpers, the, you know, because they, they're not allowed to connect. And I'm not a, a, a telepathic, but uh -huh. those things I know just from dealing with dogs for so long, those are not happy dogs. This dog does not want to leave your side. This dog is so comfortable with you. You bring something to him, and obviously he brings something to you. But I am comforted that, that he said that to you, because that's, that's just kind of the way that I was thinking, too. I, I thought, uh -huh. he has a purpose. This dog has a purpose. Oh, yes, he does. So it, it's amazing. Uh -huh. So have you had a lot of people with lost dogs? Have you helped find some lost dogs recently? I do help find with lost dogs, lost animals. It's interesting. It's, it, it, just depends. I've found them because of a scent. I found them because of something that I saw. It just depends. And it just comes to you that way. It does. Just as speaking with him. Uh -huh. So he has kind of relaxed here, and I notice he's kind of swinging over here to you. What, yeah. what else is he telling us? Well, he is... Um, he's anticipating something. What are you doing when you leave here? Well, we have a couple of runs to make. He loves to ride. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's okay. what it is. Yes. Okay, he's, he's anticipating. He's straight up in the seat like a human being. Yeah, he, okay. he's, he's okay. looking forward to that then. He's yeah. going, when's this going to be over? <laughs> he's going, Shanae, okay, I'm through with this. Let's go. Uh -huh. Okay, well, it's time to go. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, we mm -hmm. thank you so much. That is oh, so welcome. enlightening. And Take that, uh, you know, and if you, if you need to get in touch, if Sinead needs to call you, how does she get in touch with you, or how does anybody get in touch with you? Um, Naomi B. McDonald is my website. My phone number's on there. My email address is on there. I'll be glad to help in any way I can. Thank you. Okay. Well, we are blessed.